Well, in continuing with the trend of exposing the charismatic Luciferian blasphemer Kenneth Copeland, my last video I showed where he basically said God is the biggest failure in the Bible. Now I'm going to show you of him actually preaching the gospel of Luciferianism, the gospel of becoming divine. Okay, here's the clip of him proclaiming himself a God. Check this out. When I read in the Bible where he says, I am, I just smile and say, yes, I am too. He doesn't even draw a distinction between himself and... Never, never. You never can do that in a covenant relationship. Do you know what else that has settled then tonight? This hue and cry and controversy that has been spawned by the devil to try and bring dissension within the body of Christ, that we're gods. I am a little god. Yes. Yes. I have his name. I'm one with him. I'm in covenant relation. Yeah. I am a little God. Critics, you are anything that he is. When I read in the Bible where he says, I am, I just smile and say, yes, I am too. I mean, what a, what a little blasphemous devil. I mean, seriously, the guy is so devil-possessed, it's crazy. That's the charismatic movement for you. See, I believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I believe the Holy Ghost does miracles. The charismatic movement is not that, okay? See, that's what they always do. They'll accuse you of denying the miracles of the Holy Ghost. I believe in the miracles. What I don't believe is the devil possession displayed by the charismatics. That's the big difference. But uh, this thing of, oh, I'm a god. I am, you know? Blasphemous little devil. But I actually have heard this before, you know? There is a, a certain fallen cherub who happened to say the exact same thing long before Kenneth Copeland came on the scene. Let's see who, who, let's see who this individual is. And by the way, too, it's not holy. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may not eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Look at verse 5. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Huh. Interesting how that works. God, ye shall be as gods. Is that not what you just heard from Kenneth Copeland? I'm a god. When I look at, when I read I am, I know I am. What a little blasphemous devil. Just preaching the gospel of his father, Lucifer. Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 2, down to verse number 9. Another instance of Kenneth Copeland uh, mimicking the gospel of Lucifer. Ezekiel 28, verse 2 to 9. Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, Thus saith the Lord God, because thine heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God. Huh, interesting how that is. Uh, I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man, and not God, uh, though thou set thine heart as the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches, and hast gotten gold and silver in thy treasure, into thy treasures. And thy great wisdom, and by thy traffic, that hast thou increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. Kind of like the multi-millionaire Kenneth Copeland flying around on a, on a private jet. Interesting how that is, the riches. Thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of God, behold, I will bring, sorry, behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee, the, ter the uh, terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of, the, of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness, and they shall bring thee down to the pit, and thou shalt die the, uh, die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou say before him that slayeth thee, I am a god, but thou shalt be as a man, and no god, in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Yeah, I am a god. And notice the riches tied in there with the pride. You see that in Kenneth Copeland. Because that was followed the devil. And notice the parallel here to Isaiah chapter 14, verse uh, 12 down to verse 15. You know, they're brought down to the pit, the brightness. Kind of like Satan coming as an angel of light in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 to 15. Here's another such example of Lucifer preaching the same heresy as Kenneth Copeland. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 down to verse number 15. How art, thou fall, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my, my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, yet thou shalt be, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Yeah, I will be like the most high. You know, I am. Kenneth Copeland giving himself God's title, God the Father's title. 
That's right there. That's Kenneth Copeland you know, preaching the same gospel of Lucifer, the gospel of ye shall be as gods. Kenneth Copeland is a false prophet and a Luciferian and a blasphemer. You know, plain and simple. He's a wicked devil, and he's a great, a great example of the demonic aspect of this whole charismatic movement. Again, I believe in the, whole, in the miracles of the Holy Ghost and the gifts of the Spirit. What I don't believe is this demonic charismatic counterfeit. Plain and simple. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.